Red Hat Process Automation Manager, or PAM for short, is a platform for developing applications that automate business decisions and processes. It includes business process management, business rules management, and complex event processing technologies. In this demo, we will look at using PAM for business process management in a human resources department. Specifically, we will look at a sample job application use case. The starting point for PAM is a clear, well-defined process diagram. The Red Hat PAM product includes a browser-based graphical environment for authoring business processes. Here we see the business process diagram for a job application. The process is broken down into a series of steps, tasks and sub-processes. Some of these tasks are automated system tasks and some require human interaction. There are many options for deploying and interacting with the business process in PAM. For this demo we've created a custom Angular front-end which will interact with the PAM back-end using a REST API. OK, so let's run the demo. We'll follow a happy path through the process and see how the case progresses. This is the Angular front end running in a browser. I'm going to log in as an applicant user initially. I'll go straight to the careers page and select a job I want to apply for. I can look at the details there and then fill in a form to make an application. This form is generated by the PAM backend and is pre-populated with the job details. I can also upload documents, my CV in this case. Once I click Submit, a new case is created in the back end, and you can see the case ID there. Now let me log in as a HR admin user. I get a dashboard screen with summary data and key performance indicators based on current and completed cases. You can configure and format this screen depending on your business requirements. I can see a full list of all HR policies. I can drill down into any policy to get further details and information, and I can also pull back the relevant business process graphic from the back end and review that. On the case list screen, I get a summary list of all the HR cases created. This is key summary data at the top, and I can also search and filter according to various criteria. Similarly, I can get a list of tasks and see which ones are active and which are complete, etc. And again, I can search and filter. All the data behind these tables is pulled from the back end using the Process Automated Manager REST API. Right, so if I go to the case screen list, I can see the job application that has been created, case number 8. As a human resources admin user, I can click into the details here to review the application. I can see the applicant details, the role they've applied for. I can review the uploaded documents here. I can also pull back the process diagram and see exactly at what point we are in the process. You can see there we're at the start waiting on the application review task. I can see where we are in terms of case milestones, both in a list there or along the top on the graphic. I can also enter comments which will be stored and shared in the case file as the case progresses. Back on the case list screen, I can click here to list the tasks for this specific case. The current active task is for human resources to review the job application. So I click here to run that task. I'm going to approve the application and submit. And you can see the next task is loaded, which is to schedule interviews. For the schedule interviews task, I can choose to do a skills review or telephone interview first. But for the happy path, I'll just progress straight to doing a full interview. Here I can list who I want to invite to do the interview. I can specify multiple people, but I'll just add one interviewer to speed things up. So when the task complete, you can see there is a new interview task assigned to the person I entered. If I click back into the case details again, you can see we've moved to here in the case process, waiting for interviews to complete. I'm now going to log in as the interviewer user, Anne. When I have completed the interview process, I can go to the task list, filter for my tasks, and then submit my decision to approve or reject the applicant. This triggers a sub-process to email a job offer to the applicant, and the next task is assigned to him to accept or reject the offer. Let's switch back to the HR admin login and check where we are in the case process. You can see the milestones there, and in the process diagram, the job offer email has been sent by the system, and the final task there is for the applicant to accept or reject the job offer. So I switch to logging in as the applicant user Bill, and run that final task and you can see the case is then completed. Finally back on the HR admin login, we can look at the process diagram for the case and see that we have completed the happy path. So Red Hat Process Automation Manager is a very effective way of running your business processes in, for example, a human resources scenario. There's great flexibility in how you can model, control, monitor and optimize your business policies and processes. You can keep track of both human and automated tasks, easily track where you're at in any given case process, and you can use the data generated by PAM to create business reports, summaries and KPIs, and to drive continuous improvement.